Hello YouTube. I wanted to do a video about what happened in Connecticut. I'm sure most of you already have heard and know about it. There were 26 people who were shot and killed in Connecticut in an elementary school. 20 of the victims were little bitty elementary school children. Some guy walked into a school and shot all of these people and then turned the gun on himself and killed himself, they say. There was some talk of another gunman um, that was at large, but that's unclear. As usual in these kind of stories, there's a lot of uh, questions and things don't exactly line up. There's a lot of fishiness um, to these stories. And as I've said in other stories, I put nothing past the government anymore. Not saying that every time that there's a shooting that is a staged event. Uh, because there are crazy people out there. There are just plain evil people out there that would do this sort of thing. I would put nothing past the government as staging these kinds of events to get the kind of political outcome that they want. Um, and of course it was Barack Hussein Obama's administration who said to never let a good crisis go to waste. In other words, they're going to uh, get as much political capital or political clout uh, out of tragedies and crises as they can. And lo and behold, here comes Barack Hussein Obama out today to do a news uh, conference to give his comments about what happened and there he was, the perfect photo op, him looking somber, wiping his face and wiping his eyes uh, as if he was crying. But the thing is, there were no tears. His face was dry. And before the story could even get out, you know, very well, the lamestream media, his lapdogs, were already calling for gun control laws. Social networks like Twitter were just overrun with people calling for gun control laws and telling Obama to do something about the guns. And that is exactly what this man wants. This is exactly what the liberals want. They want to do away with the Second Amendment. And when you have people doing this, begging for Obama to do something about the guns, this will give him some sort of a mandate to actually go in and do something to uh, try to do away with the Second Amendment. While I was reading some of the comments left on the stories on different websites, people were asking, you know, why is this happening? Why are the children not even safe at school? I couldn't help but think about these women who uh, this past election, they voted for Obama a lot of the uh, people who did the polls and surveys said that it was women who gave Barack Hussein Obama the victory, uh, particularly women who are unmarried and a lot of younger women too. And I would say a lot of uh, older ones, too, these old liberal women, they're the ones who gave Barack Hussein Obama the advantage and the victory. This picture that I saw, uh, I think I saw it on the Drudge Report, and it was just so creepy to me. Barack Hussein Obama in this woman's hand, she she's holding the back of Obama's head, and it just seems so creepy to me. And it just bring a picture to my mind of just these old liberal, wicked women in you know women's lib and all of that sort of thing. So that brings me back to the reason why this stuff is happening. And I I know people don't want to hear it. Uh, I get it a lot. They try to tell me it's not all about abortion. Abortion isn't everything. Uh, excuse me. I think it is. When you're shedding the innocent blood of innocent children at the rate that America is, 
we there is no way that god is not looking at this stuff the blood of those children are crying out to god and um the bible is clear you're shedding innocent blood and people are going to have to answer for that stuff and you have these liberals these old liberals uh for abortion that's why they voted for obama they wanted to keep their birth control they wanted to be able to have their so-called right to murder their own unborn children for all the women out there who have had abortions and they have repented of this and have been forgiven of god the lord says go and sin no more but for these other women out there who've had abortions are still having abortions the word of god is plain he says do not be deceived god is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap if you're gonna abort your own unborn children shedding innocent blood then you're reaping upon your own self the shedding of blood when i guess people don't they don't think about this kind of stuff they are actually killing their own offspring and god is not just going to let that go he's not going to just sweep it under a carpet somewhere and just forget about it it's going to come back on you whatever you sow you're going to reap it back you sow by shedding innocent blood then when the shedding of innocent blood comes back on you um you you can't say a mumbling word you can't say anything it's hypocrisy to abort your own unborn children and then point the finger at somebody else who uh does such a um a, a, an evil thing but they're doing it to children who have been allowed to uh, age somewhat to grow up somewhat so it, it's just total hypocrisy to me how these women can do this and that it's out of their minds that they've killed their own unborn it's not only the women but it's also the men who impregnate women and pay for these women to have abortions or drive them to the abortion clinic or tell them to get rid of the child uh, they are just as guilty as the woman who does it and even uh, not just the woman or the man maybe some of these mothers mothers and fathers who have daughters uh who are pregnant who are having their daughters go out and get abortions taking them to the uh, clinics to get abortion paying for their daughters to have abortions also men and women who have a son who have impregnated a girl who refuse to let your son do the right thing uh by the young girl everyone who is involved in this and support it um all of you democrats uh who vote for obama and a vote for these people uh, with planned parenthood you're supporting this all of you pro-abortion people all of you democrats all of you planned parenthood people all of the people who so support obama all of you people who um have had abortions all of you people who uh demand to have your right to uh have an abortion uh who are proud of this don't you see it can you not see it how is it that when these things happen that you can sit there and ask why with a clear conscience don't you see it that you reap what you have sown can't you see it what makes you think you have uh the moral ground to point the finger at someone who's done such terrible things as this when you yourself have killed an unborn child you know it, it, it's no question anymore that it is a child and you're extinguishing the life you're terminating the life of that child there's no question you point your finger at someone else but how can you can't you see it it's hypocrisy it is hypocrisy and that's what's happening to this country it's like god says okay you like the shedding of innocent blood you want the right to shed innocent blood 
you like blood uh, shedding of innocent blood so much i'm gonna let you have some gonna have some back so it, it's time to repent and i know i i've said it before the bible prophesies that in the book of revelation that is one of the sins that people will refuse to repent of they will refuse to repent of their murders and that includes the murder of their unborn children so there are some out there who will listen um uh, you've got to repent and turn back to god it, i mean it, it does have something to do with why these things are happening uh the spiritual part of it america has devalued life uh by abortion you devalue life it's it's of no value and so when these things happen you're like well why did that happen look at this society that we live in when you can murder your own innocent innocent child in the womb the womb is supposed to be the safest place on the planet for for a young child but the own mother turns on the little innocent child and kills it and and then you wonder why somebody can do this and someone said uh why is it that children are not safe in the schools anymore if they're not to safe in the womb of a mother of the mother why do you expect them to be safe at a school especially a school where they have kicked out god they don't want god mentioned they don't want any bible being taught in it they don't want any creation being taught in it america needs to repent we all need to repent and ask god to cleanse us from the shed innocent blood that is crying out to god and it's good to see that you know when some of these things happen people they go to the churches they flock to the uh places of worship but instead of just flocking to the places of worship and praying how about doing some repenting we need to repent we need to repent we need to change we need to change our ways we need to stop doing what's wrong and start doing what is right in god's eyes we need to repent well thank you for watching thank you for listening uh this is just my take of, of what's been happening um people ask why there's a lot of reasons why but the spiritual roots is because of sin and because we need to repent